In the previous demo, I've shown you how to take an application and package it into a Docker image, publish it and run it on the local Docker environment. Now, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how can you take that application and run it uh, in a production like environment. And this is where you would need Kubernetes. Now, how do we set up Kubernetes? There are many ways to do that. And what I'm showing you here is the simplest way of getting a Kubernetes cluster up. And Kubernetes cluster is nothing but a cluster of multiple virtual machines, or it could be, if you have a data center, it could be a cluster of the physical servers that you have. And the Kubernetes will create one logical entity out of that. And instead of you managing, let's say you have 50 servers, instead of you managing all those 50 servers, Kubernetes will manage it on behalf of you. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm creating a Kubernetes cluster. This is called as Kubernetes engine, which is part of Google Cloud's managed services. And it's as easy as going to the Google Cloud platform, selecting Kubernetes, you know, engine and selecting the size of the cluster and configurations that you want to add to it. So in this case, I'm creating a cluster of three nodes. So here I'm defining my capacity or in the form of node pools. You can also have some preset configurations like, you know, if you want to create a cluster with certain configurations, certain type of applications, you have an option to choose from that. I'm creating a standard cluster. I'm gonna provide it with a name, select the version of Kubernetes that I need, and then default pool is where I define how many numbers of nodes or the servers that I want to add to this cluster. So I've selected the pool of node, the, all the default configurations, which is going to create an environment with three servers. And all I have to do now is just wait for it to be ready. So if I come back after, let's say a few minutes, maybe 10 to 15 minutes, I should see this cluster being available the way you see it right now. It's been created with the size of three, three nodes, three servers with total core of three CPUs. So each server has one CPU and total memory is about 12 GB. So around four gigs for each server. And once I have my cluster ready, I can start deploying the applications with this workloads section. You can also go and check in the Google Compute Engine's server configurations. You will see three nodes or three VMs being launched as part of this cluster. Again, all of this was configured automatically by Google Cloud. All I had to do was go to the Google Cloud and launch a cluster with Kubernetes. And now on this cluster, I'm going to deploy the container image or an application using the container image that I have. The only difference between the previous deployment, the previous demonstration that I showed you is here in this case, it is going to be launched on a cluster of nodes. And I don't have to worry about where it is being launched, how uh, the scalability or part of it, the load balancing, I'm gonna demonstrate or show you all those aspects that Kubernetes gives you. So here, all I have to do is select the workload where I pull, uh, pick my image. This is the image that I had published earlier. And this is what I want to deploy with version one. So I provide the image in this box along with the tag. And any additional configuration that I need, I'm just gonna keep everything uh, else as default except for the name of the application here, which is Facebook. That's the name of the application that I had packaged. It automatically generates the YAML for you as well. So Kubernetes relies on a lot of YAML code, which is again a declarative code to define how to launch an application with what configurations. But since this is the managed environment, you don't need to provide anything except for the inputs through the UI. So Google Cloud here, the managed service makes it easy and you have similar services provided by AWS as well as Azure. 
and there I go. So I have the application running or would have it running within a few minutes. It's getting ready. And then it would Kubernetes has has been managing those three nodes and it decides where to run it based on the availability, based on its own internal algorithms. And this is what Kubernetes is good at. It automatically takes care of scheduling, networking between the nodes, load balancing, service discovery, everything that you would need in order to run that application. And I see it running already in the form of deployment with it's already high available. It started with a scale of uh, three. So I see three instances of it already. So my application is not only running, but it is also high available. And I could deploy it within few minutes with this managed Kubernetes service. In the next one, I'm gonna demonstrate the power of Kubernetes.